An international rail tour had just arrived at Knapford. The large green engine pulling the train had come all the way from Australia. Later, Percy arrived with some coal trucks when he noticed the newcomer. Wait a minute, he said to himself. That engine looks familiar. The engine reminded him of Bruce, the Australian engine who visited last year and tricked Percy into saying bad words. Oh no, he said. I'm not going to let this one trick me too. Come on, Percy, said his driver. So you've had one bad experience. You can't let that stop you from meeting new engines. Not if I can help it, Percy huffed. But just as Percy was about to leave, the engine spoke to him. Hello there, she said. You're Percy, right? I am, he replied, sounding a little surprised. How do you know my name? My brother told me about you, she said. I'm New South Wales Government Railways 3801. Percy smiled. So you're Bruce's sister, right? That's right. He told me he got you into a little bit of trouble. He did, Percy huffed angrily. Don't worry, 3801 said. I gave him an earful when he came back to the facility. I told him, whatever were you thinking, 3806? I told you, Sheila, he said. Call me Bruce. Don't use that bogan talk with me. We're here to proudly represent our country, and you had to go and start all that. I learned me lesson, didn't I? I won't say bad words again. You better not, I said. You're an express engine and should know better. Yeah, all right, he finished. Percy laughed. That sounds like him, all right, he said. Hopefully some of the other engines here are just as understanding as you are, 3801 said. Of course they'll be. Percy was right. 3801 met with the other engines and they all got along well together. You've all been so welcoming and understanding, 3801 said later that day. You haven't met Gordon yet, said Henry. He's an express engine too. One of them anyway, James boasted. I've been known to pull the express from time to time. Some would argue even better than Gordon. Funny, Henry remarked. I could have sworn they said the same thing about me too. James grumbled to himself. Just then, Gordon puffed into the yard. What's this? he asked. Has that Australian engine come back to cause more trouble? You're thinking of my brother, 3801 responded. I'm his sister. Gordon frowned. Then I suppose I'd expect the same from you. Don't be silly, Gordon, Percy huffed. She's not like that. But Gordon wouldn't listen. I'm not convinced, he huffed. If you've known one engine like that, you can be sure they'll all be the same. And he puffed away, wishing rudely at 3801. Goodness me, she remarked. What a horrid engine. I'm sorry, 3801, Percy sympathised. Gordon can be stubborn at times. That's one way to put it, chortled James. The next day, Gordon was rushing to nap at the express. Hurry, 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 he sang to the coaches. But there was trouble ahead. At the level crossing, a lorry had become unhitched from its trailer while crossing the line, and the driver was trying to quickly reattach it. Gordon saw the lorry as he came near to the crossing. Out of my way! He whistled. Express coming through! The station master waved and shouted for Gordon to stop. Gordon's driver applied the brakes, and Gordon wheeled through the station and stopped at the level crossing gates. Just in time. As the lorry was reattached to the trailer and was on its way, Gordon's driver and fireman were looking him over before they started again. You damaged your brakes when you stopped so quickly, the driver said. You can't pull the train like this. 
We'll have to telephone for help. Oh dear, thought Gordon. What a shame it is. Soon, the driver came back to say that help was coming. Gordon was relieved, but he was surprised to see that 3801 had come to help. Hello, Gordon, she said, pulling up alongside the big engine. Heard you damaged your brakes after some heroics. Gordon didn't say anything. He was too embarrassed about what he said to her yesterday. Luckily, I was at the station ready to take my rail to a train home when they told me, 3801 continued. She was just about to couple up to Gordon, but then stopped. On second thought, she said, I probably shouldn't help you and just leave you and your passengers here. It makes sense since, you know, we Australian engines just love causing trouble. Gordon was flustered. Wait, I, um... It's like you said. If you've known one engine like that, you can be sure they'll all be the same. All right, pleaded Gordon. I'm sorry for what I said. Can you please help me? The passengers mustn't be late. The fat controller will be cross. 3801 thought for a moment. Oh, all right, she said. Let's get this train moving. Soon, 3801 was coupled up to Gordon. The guard blew his whistle and the two big engines pulled the coaches all the way to Napford. was coupled to the rail to a train. Gordon and Percy had come to see her off. Thank you for helping me, Gordon said thoughtfully. I'm sorry for thinking you were troublesome. It's all right, 3801 said. We express engines must stick together after all. See, Gordon, Percy remarked. You mustn't let one bad experience ruin your outlook. Then the guard's whistle blew and 3801 steamed away. 